Okay, right now we're going to be moving a little bit pretty fast. We're just going to focus on the body. Don't worry about the fins. Don't worry about the tail. I've got a number 10 and I've got a number 7. So here we go. So what I've done is I've mixed up some alizarin crimson and some um, yellow ochre. And I also mixed up some um, cadmium yellow light with a little bit of burnt umber. And then some sap green and some burnt umber. And I'll say those as we go. So right now, what I want to do is I've got my number 10. And I'm going to go really fast. See how we, we have this curve on the tail? Just go to the curve. Don't, don't worry about the tail. Don't worry about the other side. Just do the curve. Okay, going fast. Don't worry about the fins. Just go to the head where we stopped. You can scream if you have to. Oh. I'm going to go around this fin. Okay, what I want to do first is I want to do the alizarin crimson and yellow ochre. I'm just going to pop it in. Yellow ochre and alizarin crimson. Makes kind of a pretty salmon color. I'm just going to pop it in. Here's just some straight alizarin crimson right back. This is where you get the name cutthroat. Right back behind his front fin. I'm just going to pop that in. That's pretty cool. Again, I'm just going to kind of, I'm wiping my brush, dipping it in the water, and I'm moving fast before this dries. If you, and a lot of times I won't add any more water. I'll just keep rolling. That's pretty good. I'm just going to go up the tail a tiny bit. As it goes to the tail, it kind of gets diluted a little bit, and it's not as um, bright. And here it has yellow ochre and alizarin crimson. I think I'm going to leave that alone. Now what I want to do is I mix up some cadmium yellow light, or if you have lemon yellow, I put a tiny bit of burnt umber with it. And I'm not going to touch. You could even put a little sap green with your, with your yellow. I'm not going to touch too much that... Um, Alizarin crimson that we put in. I'm just going to kind of carry it down the tail pretty fast. Actually, right now I'm going to switch over to a number seven. So I've got a little bit more control. So if you find out you're real sloppy and you're just, and now I'm going to just take some water and start blending a little bit. Go back to the yellow ochre. I mean, excuse me, the, the cad yellow light mixed with a little bit of burn umber. And so we've got this pretty strong line here. I'm just going to kind of, not adding any more water, I'm just going to kind of get it to blend a little bit better. Now I'm going to kind of go back to that same yellow color, and I'm just going to throw it down here on the belly. I'm going to go ahead and just put it on this one fin since it's connected. This is the only fin. Just doesn't even, because we'll put some other color on top of it just right now so we don't have a dry brush line. I'm just going to kind of do that. Still working with that yellow. see some of this stuff in here. I just kind of want to soften some of that. Okay, now what I want to do, I've taken sap green and burnt umber, and it is dark. Sap green and burnt umber. This is kind of sap for a minute. Here, here we go. 
I'm going to run along the back of the fish. That's going to be the third step. Go along his tail. It's pretty wet. Go to the tip. Just a little bit. I like that. Okay, now watch what I'm going to do. Sap green and burnt umber. And this head is dry. here to his nose. I'm going to switch to number four. And I'm just going to pull the edge. Go to his nose. Take this. This is just a clean brush. Just using water. Just using water. We'll fine tune all this a little bit later. My fish has been eating well, so he just grew a little bit more. And so while we're, we're still wet, I can still pop in a little bit of dark. And I just let that kind of go down on that light yellow a tiny bit. Sometimes you can just pull the, this is just clean water, I can just kind of pull along the edge. Remember, you can always go lighter, you just can't go, you can always go darker, you just can't go lighter once you've lost your light. Okay. I'm going to stop right now, that looks pretty good. So, you got three steps. See you in the next lesson.